This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Schimmel versus James. You two are engaged and have a young family together. I noticed from the court records there's a 20-year age difference between you. And my understanding, Ms. Schimmel, is you gonna tell Mr. James to kick rocks if you find out he's kicking it with your best friend as you believe. Please tell me why your engagement is on hold. Your Honor, um, I have reason to believe that Randall has been cheating on me with my ex-best friend. Okay. Uh, I have found females' laundry in my laundry um, baskets. I found lipstick um, imprints on his clothing, on his drawers, on his zippers of his pants. Um, and if I find out that this is true, the, the wedding is canceled. You done. I'm done. This is the this is one of the crucial pieces of this case is you believe that the other woman is your ex best friend. Yes. She was somebody that I always looked up to. You know, I trusted her with a lot of things that I never trusted anybody with. And I never thought this would happen, but you know, I'm seeing a lot of things different now. Hmm. Mr. Wow. James, these, these yes, are sir. some serious allegations against you. I mean, with, with her best friend. I mean, what do you have to say? First of all, I'd just like to start out and say that I love this woman with all my heart. Okay. Um, these accusations just got to stop. Oh, no. Yes, yes, they got to stop. Because I get inspected. There's, there's inspections when I come home. Inspections? I, inspections. <laughs> what kind of inspections? Um, she'll, she'll uh, come up and smell my neck to see if I have another woman's perfume on. Oh, it, it doesn't stop mm -hmm. there. She, uh, she'll check on my pants. She'll go as far as to pull my pants down oh. to smell and inspect my drawers. Oh. If she still doesn't find anything there, she'll take them off. Uh -huh. And you stand there and let her do all this? I do let her inspect me because I have nothing to hide. She's never found that. Your Honor, you can call it how you want to. Are you it really being, luck. are you really being Inspector Gadget, inspecting his gadget? I have, I have, I have multiple reasons to do the things that I do in this relationship. Tell us why Tell you... me why you think he cheated with your best friend. She needed somewhere to go uh. because her husband had ended up passing away and I didn't want to see my friend living out on the street. So she's actually living with you. So she is living in my house. You know, and I'm going to wow. work during the day from 6 o'clock until 5.30 p.m. You know, I come home one day, I hear music before I even pull on my street. There's cars up and down my driveway, in front of my house. It's Lock. a real party. Yeah, it's a real life party. And Nobody you weren't got... invited to your own party? I was party invited to my house? own party at my own house. The bills are in my name. I'm trying to figure out what's going on, okay? All right. So I walk into my house, and I see Angelina sitting on Randall's lap. His hand's all in her hair. So I'm trying to figure out, um, Wait. what is he doing? So what did you say when you came in? Because I know I, what I would have said when I oh, came in. Oh, you my man. You what? not hers. Why is she on your lap? So did he know you were coming home at this time? I mean, that's the time I normally come home from work. No, no, Your Honor. Yeah, actually, she came in about 15 minutes earlier than what she usually come home. That, but, that doesn't and, help you. And I'm, and, and I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not saying that that was, I'm not, I'm not saying that that was an excuse. But I'm gonna, I, and, and I, and, and Angelina was on my lap. But I, I. Why was your girlfriend's best friend on your lap? I was untangling a knot in her hair. Out of my friend's hair? Yes. Out of my friend's hair? During the party, because okay, that's please. what you do during a party. And, and, and when she came home, and when she came home through the door, I pushed Angelina on the floor. So I know, I know how that sounds, and I know how it may have looked to her, and I regret what I did that day. Because so you took a knot out of her hair? Yes, ma'am. I want you to know I'm not stupid. <laughs> okay. That's your story. <laughs> and he's sticking to it. Ms. Shema, how did you feel when you walked in on that? I felt, I 
felt furious uh -huh. because, you know, that's supposed to be my best friend. I've known her longer than I knew him, and now we have a family together, okay? Now, I could understand if, you know, I was around, you know, I could be the one to help her, but there's no reason why you touching my friend, period. And what did your okay. friend say? Because I'd have had a little conversation with my best friend. You propped um, up in my house, and I'm supporting you and helping you. Oh, she... She's something else herself. She don't, she don't ever have any answers for any of the things that happen. She wanna act stuck and surprised when I try to confront her on things. She doesn't really know how to respond. There's even more to this story, okay? All right. So I now, can't let's believe it's more, but okay. Bit. Let's fast forward a little bit, you know. A couple weeks later, I'm like, so y'all wanna throw parties without me? You know, I got this weekend off. Let's have a party. You know what I mean? So we all, you know, we all having fun, cooking, barbecuing, everybody, you know, we all hanging out, having a good time. So the next thing you know, I'm walking around my house. I look over and I just so happen to see Angelina grinding on my man. Dancing. I'm trying to tell her, girl, this is not a strip club. Why is you all over him? And what did she say? Oh, uh, you know, I'm just having fun. This is this is a party, you know? I'm like, all these other people around, you wanna do it on my man? Okay, something, something, you know, the party was shut down. I couldn't do it anymore. So, Mr. James? It's a wrap. Yes, sir. Why are you grinding on your wife's ex-best friend? And why is she grinding on you? Why are y'all grinding together? It was, uh... I didn't really think, like, the grinding was grinding, like, she considers it grinding. I've considered it more like everybody was dancing, because it wasn't just us two on the floor dancing. All right, so did it... Did, tell me that it ended with the grinding. No, That's the end of this story, right? So that night, I got a little bit too out of control, and I ended up falling asleep on my sofa in my living room. All right. Okay, so that following morning, I wake up, Angelina and some other chick are laying in my bed. I'm looking for Randall. I'm hearing the toilet flush. He coming out the bathroom with his um, pants and zipper undone. I'm wondering, where were you at last night? Well, why, he's a, why was he coming out the bathroom with his pants undone? Because I was going to take a shower. And she woke up. She didn't know I had woke up. But, but Angelina and her friend was in the bed. So you were never in the bed with no, your best friend no, and the other woman? No, ma'am. Well, why is she in your bedroom sleeping? What do you think they were doing? I think they had a threesome, Your Honor. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Well, I slept on the couch with you. You fell asleep before all of us. So, Mr. James, this was yeah. just an unlucky coincidence uh, that she happened to walk in to the bedroom at the very time you were coming out of the bathroom with your pants unzipped with these two women laying on the bed. Judge, just I... like it was unlucky that she just came home and happened to see her sitting on your lap while you are taking the knots out of her hair. All of this is just an unfortunate coincidence. Yes, because I believe that... I mean, you've got to be the, the unluckiest person walking the face of the earth right now. Okay. Okay, Your Honor. I mean, I, mean, I want to I wanna believe you, but, you know, coincidence after coincidence after coincidence, but, you hey, need a hey, rabbit's hey. foot, a four-leaf clover, a horseshoe, or something that you need to carry around with you. Well, Carla, you know what? There's her side, there's his side, and there's the ex-best friend side, and she is here. Ron, please just start her in. Yeah, you go right up to the witness. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good. For the record, Your Honor. Hold on. Before well, you... Wait, 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 hold on, wait, hold on, wait, hold on, wait. Hold on, hold on. We gotta get... To, we gotta right. take care of court business. All right, take Would it, you please take... give us your full name? Angelina Birch. Okay, Ms. Birch, what is your relationship to Mr. James? There is no relationship. I just know him through my ex-best friend, Michelle, that I hope we can still be friends. So, there's been testimony from Ms. Schimmel and Mr. James regarded a party that you had at her home mm -hmm. before she got home from work. Mm -hmm. And she says that you were sitting on Mr. James's lap. Is that correct? That is correct, but there's a story behind that as well. All right. Why were you sitting on Mr. James's lap? 
Well, I was getting a knot out my hair. At the time, I had hair down to here, below my dress. And while I was dancing, it had got tangled up. Mr. James is a friendly man, but we are never Why were your red together. panties in my house? Oh. Uh, hello? I live with you? Um, no, this was after you moved out, honey. All right. Okay, hold on. So you're saying you had hair, very long hair. Yes, ma'am. You were dancing. Yes. And it got caught on something? Onto him, friendly man over there. He got caught on him. He was a him. little too close. Yeah. Okay. And he pulled me onto him. But we have never done nothing. And so when he pulled you onto him, what did you do? She walked in and he hurried up, threw me off as if like I was the bad guy. So it was just at that very moment. Yes. I told you, Your Honor. He is the unluckiest man. I, I am. <laughs> you can't tell. Hmm. I okay. am. All right. And the threesome. Yeah. So let's talk about. She found you and another woman in her bed. Yes. Okay. Did Mr. James spend the night with you and this other woman in her bed? No, Mr. James did not spend the night or get in the bed with me and my friend. All no. right. Why did you... Why were you in her bed? For one, this is my house, too. For second, we were all drinking. Drinks was everywhere. People were everywhere. She wasn't even in her own bed. And I happened to crash. Me and my friend in her bed when I woke up. I Excuse didn't even me. know I was I in her bed. I allowed you to live I in my house. I was waste. I was drunk. I allowed you to live in my house. And this is how you gonna act? I thought we were friends. You got to get in. I'm too sorry, jealous but over I don't this. know about friends anymore. But I can have him if I want him. But look at him no. and look at me. No. <laughs> so but no, there has been no sexual Never. intercourse okay. at all. Did no. you want to be with Mr. James? Not at all. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Sorry. Do you believe he wanted to be with you? I, I believe he wanted to be too friendly, playful, too friendly, too too playful. Yeah. No. Do I think he plays on that sometimes? Maybe. All right, Ms. Birch, thank you very much. Thank you. This is a young family. You all are starting off together. You've got children, you're engaged, and everything is on the line. You came in and found Mr. James coming out of your bedroom, bathroom, and there were two women on the bed, including your best friend and another woman. You're concerned there was a threesome that happened. You came in and you found... Uh, you said you found red panties. You threw those... rolled those around. You found Miss Birch sitting on your boyfriend's lap. And for all of these reasons, you believe that Mr. James is cheating. Absolutely. Right. Well, this court has done a full and complete investigation. And at this time, the court will call licensed polygraph examiner Tommy Platt to determine, is he cheating? How are you doing, Mr. Platt? Wonderful, Your Honors. Good. For the court record, could you please state your credentials? Yes. I have over 30 years' experience in the United States military and as a police officer. I have been a licensed polygraph examiner for 11 years and conducted nearly 3,000 examinations. All right. <laughs> Here we go. You conducted the polygraph of Mr. James and you asked him... Since being in a relationship with Ms. Schimmel, have you had sexual intercourse with Angelina Birch? What was his response? He stated no. You ready? Yes. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful. I told you. Okay. I told you. I That's told one. You. Okay, I but I told you. Yeah, I want my All right, friend hold back. on, hold on. Before we get too far out there, we still got another mm -hmm. question. Okay. Because we have seen that table flip over. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Go ahead, love. You asked Mr. James, since moving in with Ms. Schimmel, have you had physical, sexual contact with anyone other than Ms. Schimmel? What was his response to that question? He stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that... He was being truthful. <laughs> Miss Chibble, what you got to say? What you got to say to Mr. James? Oh, mm. I look like a fool. <laughs> I look like a fool. I'm so sorry, and I really hope that we can we can move forward and think about tomorrow. Do you have anything you want to say to Miss Birch? Can you forgive me? 
I sure will, girl. I love you. I love you, too. Well, My work is done, Mr. Cutler. A good day all around, it's right? It's a good day all around. Oh. <laughs> oh. So, Mr. James. Mr. James, yeah. I'm not sure what's going on with you, but, you know, you need to take a, a, a second look at things you're doing. If you're about to do something, just step back and look and see how it looks to other people, particularly Ms. Schimmel. You will have, a, have a, a fairly new relationship, a young family. We want your relationship to grow and to blossom and to move forward in harmony. So talk to our counselor uh, when you leave, and he will set you all on the right path. As we say in this courtroom, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a happy, healthy relationship. Court Thank you. is adjourned. Thank you.